skin appendages are derived from the epidermis and include sweat and sebaceous glands, hair follicles and nerves. Sweat glands, they are mirocrine, simple coil tubular glands found deep in the derms. Two types of sweat glands are distinguished ordinary or eccrine sweat glands and apocrine sweat glands. Eccrine sweat glands are most numerous distributed in the skin throughout the body, except at the lips, glans penis, glans clitoris, and lipia minor. They are most numerous on the balms and souls. They are composed of secretory part and excretory ducts. The secretory part is highly called tubular. It's a cyanide aligned by a single layer of cells formed of two types, bill cubicle cells or clear cells, which have a wide base and a narrow apex contain numerous mitochondria and few ribosomes. They secrete sweat that contain sodium chloride, urea, uric acid, ammonia, and wood. Dark cells, on the other hand, have a narrow base and a wide apex, contain numerous ribosomes and secretory granules. Myoepithelial cells are present between the basal lamina and the secretory cells. Excretory ducts are long and run in a zigzag manner to open on the surface of the skin. In the dermis, the ducts are lined by two to three layers of cubical cells, stratified cuboidal epithelium. While in the epidermis, the ducts lose the lining epithelium and pass as a tunnel between the epidermal cells. Apocrine sweat glands are less numerous, enlarged, modified eccrine sweat glands in certain areas of the body, such as axilla, nipple, groin, and anal region. The secretory part is coiled, involved by scattered myoepithelial cells, and lined by one type of secreting cells similar to dark cells of Ecrian gland. The excretory ducts are similar to those of ordinary sweat glands, but empty the viscous secretory products into the hair follicles. Secretion of these sweat glands is of merocrine type and there is no loss of cellular structure. It is a viscous sweat with characteristic odor due to the action of bacteria. Comparison between sweat and sebaceous glands Site. Sweat glands are found in both hairy and non-hairy skin. They are found deep in the dens. They are simple coil tubular glands. While sebaceous glands are found only in hairy skin, they are found in its superficial part, usually associated with hair follicles. They are simple or simple branched alveolar glands. Both eccrine and apocrine sweat glands secrete by merocrine mechanism, which involves no loss of cellular structure. Apocrine sweat glands are found in the skin of axilla, pubic region, and areola of the breast. While Sebaceous glands secrete by holocrine mechanism, which involves loss of cellular structure. 
Ukraine sweat glands open onto the surface of the skin, while apocrine sweat glands open into the hair follicles above the sebaceous gland opening. Sebaceous glands open into the upper parts of the hair follicles by short ducts, except in regions where there is no hair follicles as in eyelids Libia minora and propuse, where they open onto the surface of the skin. The sweat glands secrete sweat. Their secretory parts are lined by two types of cells, clear and dark cells, while sebaceous glands secrete sepa, which protects the skin from cracking. Their secretory pores lie within the dermis and are composed of lobules of polyhedral pale staining cells containing lipid droplets enclosed in a well-defined pesmet membrane and supported by a thin connective tissue capsule. There is a single layer of cuboidal or flat cells between the pesmet membrane and the central mass for renewal of the cells. Hair follicle is a cellular epidermal downgrowth in which the root of hair is lodged. It is formed of the following layers from inwards outwards. Inner root sheath which corresponds to the superficial layers of the epidermis that have undergone specialization to produce three layers. The innermost layer is the cuticle layer, which is formed of cornified scales of dead cells. This layer contacts the cuticle of the hair shaft. Then Hexel's layer formed of one to three layers of cuboidal cells. Then Henley's layer formed of one layer of flat non-nucleated conified cells. Outer root sheath is continuous with the Malpighian layer of the epidermis. Connective tissue sheath is the connective tissue which surrounds the entire follicle. Erector bile muscles are small, smooth muscles which connect hair follicles to the papillary layer of the dermis, touching the bottoms of the sebaceous glands. Their contraction causes the hair follicle and the hair to become erect. The skin shows goose pimples, goose skin and the sebaceous secretion is squeezed into the hair follicles. Hairs. Hairs vary in length, thickness, color, and distribution according to the race, sex, and the site of the skin. Hairs consist of shaft projecting from the surface of the skin, root embedded in the skin, hair pulp, the expanded lower part of the root, which has a deep vascular projection of the dermis called papilla. The cells of the hair pulp form the matrix of the hair. Proliferation of cells of matrix results in growth of hair in length. In cross-section, the shaft is formed of, from inwards outwards, medulla a central core of conified cells free from pigment with air spaces in between. It may be absent in fine hairs. Cortex, formed of cornified melanin containing cells, which gives the color of the hair. Cuticle, is formed of a layer of flat dead cells containing hard keratin surrounding the cortex. The color of the hair is the result of activity of melanocytes present in the matrix. In old age, 
Hair turns white as melanocytes become unable to manufacture melanin. Nail. Nails are hard keratinized structures covering the dorsal surface of the tips of fingers and toes. Each nail consists of body, nail plate, and a proximal part, the root. The nail fold is the skin overlying the root of the nail, and its highly keratinized free edge is known as eponychium. Hyponychium is a keratinized epithelial layer located beneath the free edge of the nail. Beneath the nail lies the nail bed, which corresponds to the stratum malpighi of the skin. The nail bed beneath the root and the renewal, which is the whitish crescent-shaped area of the nail near the root, is thicker actively proliferative and is responsible for the growth of the nail and is called the nail matrix. The renewal represents the area of nail formation.